the stories of Megalodon are generally taken as seriously as ones of the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot, meaning that most people don't take them seriously at all. However, there are still several apparent sightings of these giants of the oceans, some with pictures and videos to back them up. One thing that differentiates the Megalodon from other sightings such as the UFOs, Sasquatch, or Nessie is that there is scientific proof that Megalodons really existed. These gigantic monsters of the sea are estimated to have been between 50 to 65 feet long, which is three times the size of the largest great white shark. It is thought that the Megalodon went extinct around 2 million years ago. It isn't exactly clear when the last Megalodon died, nor why they went extinct, though it has been thought that the declining water temperature played a big role. Teeth from the Megalodon have been found over the years, but not much else. This picture shows a Megalodon tooth next to a tooth from a great white shark. This helps put things in perspective. Great white sharks are one of the largest predators in the ocean today, able to grow up to 23 feet which is tiny compared to the Megalodon, there were several known sightings throughout the years that apparently show a Megalodon shark. Let's take a look at some of the more popular ones. One of the earliest photographic evidence was said to be taken during World War II, taken from a German U-boat off the shores of Cape Town in South Africa in 1942. This photo, which supposedly shows a Megalodon next to a submarine, a dorsal fin and tail fin protruding out of the water. Based on the size of the submarine, guesstimates show that the span between the tail and dorsal fin are about 65 feet long. That's really all you see is just the tip of the two fins. So is this an actual megalodon sighting caught on camera? No, the picture appears to be a fake. Several reasons were pointed out as to why this isn't a legitimate megalodon sighting. The photo is in a sepia tone, which was generally only used on family photos at that time as it took extra effort and money to create them. Military photos from that era are just seen in black and white. In addition, it seems a little suspicious that this photo was out there for 70 years before it caught anyone's attention. Then, someone found the same footage on a website that has since been taken down. In the newly found footage, not in sepia tone, there was no shark and the footage was captured in the Atlantic, thousands of miles away from Cape Town. In fact, there were no U-boats in that part of the waters during the time that the photo was supposedly taken. So this is fake. There's video footage of three divers in a cage, often used as a tourist attraction to feed sharks, with a shark and a fish swimming around it. The clear footage shows a shark that appears to be almost 25 feet long, so, is this really a large great white? Or is it a baby or dwarf megalodon? Or perhaps it's a new species of shark? Yes, the footage is real, but nobody was able to agree on what it could be, so a lot of people thought that it was a young megalodon. However, after careful analysis, it was determined that this was indeed a great white shark, possibly the largest ever recorded on footage. So, no megalodon. After reports of a megalodon living in the Marianas Trench, a group of scientists set up some cameras, put some bait out, and waited. While they did manage to catch a few different sharks, one of which seems gigantic and estimated to be over 40 feet long at the beginning, some people think this is a sleeper shark, while others argue that it is a basking shark. Some think that it's too close to the camera to really get a good feel for the size of it, as everything looks big up that close. So, is this a sighting proof of the existence of Megalodon? Probably not, but we will say there is no official proof that this footage has been tampered with, nor is there definitive proof as to what kind of shark it actually is. However, according to more recent size estimations, the shark was between 20 and 25 feet long. A video filmed off the shores of Brazil in 2012 shows a Coast Guard team rescuing someone from the water. While making the rescue, nobody on the helicopter saw anything out of the ordinary, 
It wasn't until someone replayed the video footage to view the rescue did anyone see the large animal swim past in the upper portion of the frame, just below the surface. This was part of a Discovery documentary series about Megalodon that has since turned out to be fake. So since it was part of a fake documentary, we're calling fake on all sightings from them. In a photo and video that was supposedly taken in 2009, it appears that a whale in Hawaii had its tail bitten off. It was speculated that the only animal big enough to eat the tail off a whale would be a megalodon. Surely this must be proof. I mean, do you know of anything that can take a huge bite like that off of what is supposed to be the largest living thing in the waters? No, we can't either. And that's because it didn't happen. Both the photo and video are completely fake. These are just a few of the sightings reported over the years. We use the term sightings loosely as there is no definitive proof that any of them are in fact real. Many of the different sightings can be tied to Discovery Channel and their mockumentary. Discovery has received a lot of flack for lying and providing misinformation to the public, causing panic and anxiety. Some of the scientists in the show were actually actors, while others were real scientists and misinformed as to what they were recording. Then, having their answers edited to appear completely different. Up until this time, Discovery Channel was thought to be a forefront of authority when it came to informative programming. Not all sightings came from the Discovery Channel, so what about the other ones? Are there legitimate sightings? More than likely, no. That's not to say that all of them are purposely deceptive, though. Just like the video that shows the shark swimming around the divers in the cage, the footage is real, it's just not a megalodon. People also have a tendency to overestimate size, so someone who believes they saw a giant shark may have actually seen a great white shark. The chances that Megalodon still roams the oceanic waters are next to nil. During the Pliocene era, many species went extinct, including Megalodon. Many scientists believe that it is due to the overall temperature drop in the oceans and from the landscape changing, cutting off vital nutrients to them after the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans were separated from each other. In addition, there would be many more sightings. Again, they aren't able to handle the cold water, so the idea of them living towards the bottom of the oceans just doesn't seem logical. The depths of the ocean are dark and extremely cold, not conducive for the life of a megalodon. Something a little less speculative is the lack of physical evidence. Sharks are constantly losing teeth on a weekly basis, and a single shark can go through 40,000 teeth in their lifetime. So, if megalodons were alive today, then there would be a lot of teeth at the bottom of the oceans, washing up on beaches, etc. So, even if other physical evidence of them didn't exist, there would be a lot more teeth out there. If there were legitimate sightings of megalodon, then we'd expect to see hunting teams out there looking for them. Regular shark fins can bring in good money. Imagine the money one could get for a megalodon fin, or even just the commercial recognition of catching one, even if you didn't want to poach them for parts. The chances that megalodon still lives is abysmal. What is kind of sad, it would be pretty cool to come across an animal that people thought went extinct millions of years ago. That would not be the first time, though. There were several cases where apparently already extinct animals were found again. That phenomenon is called the Lazarus Effect. One example is the discovery of the Coelacanth, which was thought to have been extinct millions of years ago. But what do you think? Does Megalodon still live somewhere in the darkest depths of the ocean? Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe and ring the bell icon.